When you get a new haircut, your old hair gets swept away. When you get a new spot on your face, you wouldn't make a video immortalizing it. But when you get a new phone, what do you do with the old one? Sometimes we just leave it behind. No, 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 it's not you, it's, it's me. And rather than break the heart of that poor old phone by letting it gather dust, you can do one of these five things to make the breakup just um, a little bit easier. Uh, I'm sorry, can I just go off camera for a bit? I'm really sorry. Number one, trade in or sell out. First things first, you like money, don't you? Of course you do. The most obvious thing you can do is sell it or trade it in for an upgrade. Depending on the state of your old phone, it could fetch in a pretty penny. There are plenty of places you can trade your phone in, including you know where. Trading in is a quick, simple, and common solution for getting rid of your old mobile phone. But this is a video called five things to do with your old mobile phone. So uh, onwards. Number two, passing down or backing up. As the old saying goes, one's trash is another's treasure. You might think an old phone is rubbish to you, but in the eyes of your wide-eyed niece, nephew, parents, neighbors, it's something they'd value and be pretty darn happy with. If your phone is locked to a certain network though, take the necessary steps to having it unlocked before passing it on. The new owner will certainly appreciate it and will get more out of your device by being able to make calls, texts, and connecting to the internet. If you don't want to pass it down though, but fancy it still being close by to you, you can keep it around as active backup. Slot in a new SIM card so you won't be caught off guard if something happens to your main one. The bottom line is, as long as your old phone works, it's a pretty nifty gadget to have knocking about the house if you can find a use for it. Speaking of which, number three, you call that a phone. The good thing about smartphones is they're not just phones. If your phone is a bit old and can't keep up with the hustle and bustle of everything you're wanting it to do, limiting it to a specific tool or tools might be the way to go. You could possibly use your phone as one of these things, a remote control. There are a plethora of remote control apps to link up with your smart TV or Apple TV, Fire Stick and more. You'll look pretty futuristic with your universal remote. Perhaps you can also use it as an ebook reader. Get the Amazon Kindle app or other favorite ebook app and fill that old phone up with books. You can also use it as a music player. I mean, pop your music on and um, yeah, kind of self-explanatory that one. And finally, you could also use it as a VOIP device. And you know what VOIP means, so we'll move on to the next one. Number four, da, 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 okay, hang on. A VOIP device means voice over internet protocol device. Still nothing? If your work involves a lot of video calling, FaceTime, Zoom and the likes, then you won't have to drain your laptop or main phone's battery by taking the call on them. You can transfer video call functionality to the old phone instead and use your new phone to play a game while that boring 11 a.m. meeting is playing in the background. Okay, so now you know what VOIP means, let's move on with the video, please. Number four, phony f phone f uh, <clears throat> give it to charity. If you have too many gadgets, but don't want to repurpose your old phone and fancy doing a good deed, you might want to consider donating it. Local charities, goodwill centers, and nonprofit organizations such as schools, hospitals, libraries, and others are always looking for donations to bring in money to help their cause. If you fancy doing a lovely act of kindness, consider this option for your mobile phone. Number five, recycled and reborn. If it's a smartphone that won't want to be used, can't be repurposed, or would be laughed out of a charity shop, it might be high time to get rid of it completely. If you don't want to do any of what I mentioned before this, please recycle your phone. Look up your nearest recycling center and deliver it there so its parts can be recycled and contributed towards a new phone, appliance, or gadget. And by and large, all these things to do with your old phone share a common theme. We all need to do our part to help. The planet isn't looking her best. We need to make sure we get the most out of our products and tech by repurposing it or giving it a new life with someone else. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.